कैसे हो तफजल आप अलहमदुल्ला आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम सींग यू लुक वेरी नाइस हेल्थी थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू विकास भाई फॉर बींग आई थिंक द लाइट मस्ट हैव बीन वेरी एक्सपेंसिव यू लुक ब्राइट ठीक है ठीक है हाँ वी नीड टू हैव अ गुड सेटअप हेयर बिकॉज वी आर ट्राइंग टू गिव अ बेस्ट हेयर एंड सेंड सम गुड मैसेज आउट देयर फॉर द यंग पीपल ऑफ कश्मीर एंड आई गेस फॉर द होल वर्ल्ड विकार इज यंग Uh, Vikar Bai is young, and uh, I am with you. Candidate, one, I don't know, one. Uh, uh, can you screenshot her ID? <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, can. I can. I can. But uh, the Aadhar card would do fine. I don't have an Aadhar. Let's talk the real talk. Okay. Um, man, uh, tell me one good thing you ever heard from a wise man. See, uh, I heard a lot of things, and uh, I use them in my life, but. humility and kindness these are the two greatest virtues you can add to your life if you're not humble and kind your life is meaningless these two things add uh, a lot of meaning to your life how you give back to people or how you deal with other fellow human beings be very uh, you know careful about other people so i think humility and kindness goes a long way what about you ma'am What is kindness to you? Kindness, ah, uh, kindness to me is uh, a refined character. So, and after a lot of struggle, you cannot be kind when you haven't struggled, when you haven't seen your life, and you haven't had a journey. Kindness comes with a lot of efforts. Hmm. Uh, I know you were about to ask me. I think I have been the most kind to myself. I have forgiven myself a lot of mistakes. Took a lot of effort to forgive myself, and when I look into the mirror, I find a very kind person. Although I prefer not to show it or express it to everybody, um, I have a very limited circle, and um, uh, you know, you attract people. if you are a kind person you will attract kind people right you attract similar uh, people and um, you know you can be kind to other people it's very easy i don't think that's a difficult task but to forgive your own self and um, be able to move past your mistakes without any guilt as a real thing to achieve what what is guilt what is guilt to you i don't see guilt as a very bad thing Yeah. but uh, sometimes guilt can you know overburden your shoulders you might constantly feel that you have done something wrong but i believe you do things the way they are suppo- that you think is right for you you would never do something if you really felt it it is bad not everybody thinks like that personally i did things in my life that i regret doing i felt guilty of uh, doing but then i made peace with them that's where the kindness came in mm-hmm. uh, and uh, i do not blame other people part of that kindness is if i blame other people that means it's still bothering me i'm unbothered because in that kindness i'm able to forgive other people as well and not blame them for what happened to me or how they hurt me ye maine bhi yahi dekha ki you know we make mistakes we fall we get embarrassed we are ashamed of ourselves at sometimes you know aisi cheeze hoti hai life pe ki 2 second ke baad we realize that we just took a fall and uh, the most important thing is just to get up because you have done what you have done life ne film kar diya aapke sath kuch ho nahi sakta ab to karna kya hai accept the reality accept your past accept your mistake overcome the guilt ek cheez hai like uh, you have to be accountable mm-hmm. if you are guilt free that means you are not accountable you don't think that you should be held i mean you don't hold yourself responsible for what you have done you might have hurt somebody terribly and not felt a thing right that's not the right thing to do self blame is not always like mai saza dun khud ko ek to hota hai you punish yourself for something don't punish yourself don't be unkind to yourself but also realize that you might have hurt somebody the right recourse is if you can fix it try to fix it make make it up to them do everything in your effort when you realize when you self realize and you hit that realization uh don't just wash things crumbling around you try to act and try to put in efforts to 
he i mean help the i mean just be kind to that person and apologize there is no harm in apologizing and be you know hold yourself accountable tell them yeah there i did are, a there mistake. are people there are people there mm-hmm. are people who have hurt you so bad there are people who have broken your heart can you forgive them part of healing begins when you start forgiving them if you don't forgive them you will never heal it is part of that journey of healing and uh, attaining peace with yourself but i was coming to the point like my point of view on is if somebody has hurt me i will forgive them but if somebody hurts the person who is more uh, valuable to me and i love them um, i might not be so forgiving like in my presence you cannot belittle disrespect or uh, you know uh, just uh, be rude to somebody i love mm. what about you can you forgive uh, someone who has hurt you you know who has hurt you in the past can you uh, look back and say okay i might forgive him i, I can't my huh? i don't look back you don't look back i forgive i don't look back this is this is how i am i forgive but i don't look back so the person uh he or she doesn't have any space in my life anymore but yes you're forgiven so this is my way of forgiving and respecting myself i i don't look back so that's how you respect yourself by just forgive. i make peace with myself with the mistake i have done or he or she has done the hurt i have got it's done and dusted and it's truly dusted so that See, person uh, has no space i would like to come in here if you allow me i spoke a lot but i insult and hurt are two different things for me i do not mix them up insult is different i take insult very personally you cannot insult me in my presence and hurting me is an emotional term right i it's an emotional part of it like you emotionally hurt me i am i feel i am able to deal with that okay like you cannot emotionally hurt me but if you insult me like uh, I, i don't know they are quite similar but a little difference i would like to put in there that insult you will get in, instant response for that but hurting me as if uh, in a relationship or other ways mm. that's fine like it happens to the best of us i get that i get that and then that. you know when you talk about personal experience i think to hurt me is very difficult i'm a very easy person i'm a very like patient and you know i take relationship very far i give a lot 100% 200% so for me if somebody is really hurting me means like it it really means a lot and then i just it's it's done and dusted for me forgiving i'm not doing it for that person i am doing it only for myself to make peace i think with we, my head we are only hurt when we give someone that power to hurt yeah, us yeah exactly and when you when you take that power back then it, it hardly the, matters the, that thing doesn't even matter after that you don't even feel hurt by that person yeah. anymore when you snatch that power from that it's it's like balancing the equation power equation so it it comes with time you need to grow a lot to reach that point where you say i forgive him it's not easy for everybody i wouldn't say certainly it wasn't easy for me when i had my first fall i became very revengeful i wanted to do you know whatever i could to hurt that person back but then you realize that it doesn't matter after some time you realize that it doesn't matter what matters is how you are growing and are you at peace are you happy with without them and if you start to realize that yes you can be happy without that person you will not waste your energy at any that. point yeah, yeah. and leaving. you know how it is like many people like bahut sare log ye bolte hain ki it's your fault you got hurt it's your fault well for me it's like yes of course kai had tak but mujhe lagta hai it's it's a major thing to realize ki we gave the power because you were, you were important aap uh, bahut important the aap uh, bahut khaas the isliye aapko wo power mili ki aapne mujhe hurt kiya you know so that's when you talk about guilt and blame we need to realize the actual relationship so basically these attachments these attachments make us weak jo ek si ko hum itni importance dete hai ki they get into our brains and they hijack our heart so that's the problem but we cannot control it right kuch cheeze hamare control mein nahi hai jaise ki mohabbat mohabbat ho gayi to ho gayi us shakhs se mohabbat hui jo shakhs wo deserve hi nahi karta wo mohabbat right see then, then wo fir wo baat aa jati hai ki aap agar ye kare ki dusra insaan deserve nahi karta aapki mohabbat 
तो देन इट्स अ गिवन इट गिवन टेक दिस इज ओनली आई बिलीव दैट पीपल डू हर्ट यू एंड even though you control yourself you limit yourself yes. people will hurt yes. you it's not like that it's up to me i can stop you know i i can stop being vulnerable and stuff no, no. people will hurt you anyway we Now, all are vulnerable so uh, that's person. why you know that's why someone uh, legendary said that you know in the end everyone will hurt you you just have to find someone worth suffering for right so our choices matter actually our choices matter do we make the right choice at the right time you know that is something which is important being wise uh, and being... i i remember when you talk about advice my father gave this advice to me being a girl child he said to me duniya bahut kharab hai khud ko sambhalo mm mm and that's when i realized that yes he's right mm mm duniya bahut kharab hai but khud ko sambhalo to apne kaise sambhala khud ko uh I can't say when I could go sambhala I I I think I took a lot of time to take that advice cuz I thought bol rahe hain cuz I was not exposed to the world I you know for a female or you have your father or your brother who's protecting you when you go out of that shell then you realize the world is really really bad really bad and then you you know few steps you take to how to be a good person in a bad world very difficult It's difficult. Very difficult. But yes, I agree to Vikar that limit your circle, because you make your world then limited, and then you can be good. When you have a big world, you can't be good. I think uh, attachments and codependency are two different things. Mm-hmm. If you cease to attach with other people, you cease to be a human. If you stop being, or you avoid attachments, then you will cease to be a human, and there is no point of living uh, a social life, right? but codependency is that i think is the problem when you are codependent on the other person feeling attached and you know uh, loving somebody is not the problem but if you don't get the love back and then you, you immediately get sad that is a problem or you go crazy about it like why am why isn't there a return on investment here so because we it, keep it, it, it comes with a lot of growth and experience that you realize that giving love isn't always getting back love who's a strong person one who is attached to someone or one who has no attachments a strong person is a person who knows what needs to be done what has to be done you have to do what you have to do to get up and you know face the world you should have the courage to face those emotions as well i mean i know it destroys a lot of people it, destroys a lot of lives they're not able to come back out of it like i wouldn't call them weak but a strong person would be somebody who knows that things are gone south but uh, he decides or she decides to face it and go till the end and understand that some things are not meant to be no matter how much you try and so, i i uh, think that you need to i mean at some time submit submission sometimes becomes your strength you need to submit and understand yes this right. is fate yeah. i believe i believe a strong person for me is someone who knows his weaknesses he accepts those weaknesses he works on his weaknesses and then he realizes yes despite everything despite how hard i try i'm still weak but he embraces his weakness wo apni khamiyon ko apni kamzoriyon ko apni mazbooti banata hai and he uses his weakness in a way वेर दे डोंट एफेक्ट हिम इन एनी यू नो एनी रॉन्ग वे उसकी खामिया ही उसकी अब स्ट्रेंथ बन जाती है वैन ही रियलाइज ओके मेरे पास ये नहीं है मेरे पास वो नहीं है आई डोंट है गुड बॉडी आई डोंट है गुड फैमिली आई डोंट हैव मनी आई डोंट हैव एनी थिंग इन माई लाइफ विच मेक्स मी स्ट्रॉग बट दोज वीकनेस दोज वीकनेस मेक इम स्ट्रॉग थिंक स्ट्रॉग मैन इज अ पर्सन हु स्टैंड अगेंस्ट इन जस्टिस वेदर इट्स हैपनिंग इन रिलेशनशिप्स वेदर इट्स हैपनिंग एनी वेयर uh you know when you define strength there are many domains in it but a person who stands and doesn't leave when he should that's when i call him a strong man like literally you're standing for the right thing that that's something i would admire so there's this problem you know i i believe in our society there are very few strong men now 
and one of them is bigar <laughs> I don't When I say I mean submission it. to fate I believe that we keep trying for something that isn't going to happen because um you put in efforts for a person when and when you realize that they don't or something that you want so bad but then you realize that uh, no matter how much you try sometimes giving up is something that makes you strong to let go yeah to let go is a very yes, strong yes, thing yes, yes, that's yes, what yes. i meant uh, by accepting fate because uh, if you don't know how to let go you will always be in that uh, you know circle running around the circle you will not come out of it and so giving up on things leaving things uh, and not leaving and maybe not leaving because when i when i mentioned vikar uh there are people in your life you you have so many people in your life they leave they stay but a person who stays when you are on your you know high low and crisis that person is strong because he's he's with you you know that's what i he's with a weak person when you say weaknesses he's with the weak and he's making it strong so that's why i say that Uh, he's a person who always kept me strong because he knew my weaknesses and he was there when i was weak he was not there because i was strong i to be honest i didn't see any weaknesses or strengths <laughs> i was just there because i was a friend i still am and um i i believe you do not uh, stay or go because of these things strength and weakness this is too uh, superficial you leave when you make the other person uncomfortable that's actually what kindness is you are being kind to them you don't leave because you are selfish that would i mean if you are just leaving because you are uncomfortable that is a selfish act what is kindness is you are leaving and letting go submitting to the will and submitting to fate because you realize that you are staying is doing more harm than you are leaving uh So, so sometimes you just have to leave that person yeah, for the sake of. You really of... love them, yeah. And... Mm. But someone who wants to stay will stay, irrespective, irrespective. I I believe who wants to stay will make sure that he she will stay, irrespective of the norms we set, irrespective of what we are saying, irrespective of the hardships, comfort, not being comfortable. Mm. The person wants to stay will stay, no matter what. Right. And that's nice to hear from a woman. <laughs> uh, usually they do. Uh, I want to know. I want to way. know uh, what is your definition of ideal woman? <sighs> Someone who is in the kitchen. <laughs> Just kidding. I wouldn't uh, say a woman or a man. I would say a person. As I said, I started with uh, kindness appeals a lot to me. If you're unkind, you're not compassionate. There's no place in my life for you. You might not be. You might not have other things. I don't care. But if you are unkind, you are not kind and um, arrogant, or maybe you are not thankful for what you have. Mm. Rather, you always monkey jump. You want. You you do not value what you have and stick with it. And very unkind and a kind person. I get that. Uh, how do you define an ideal woman? Um, I would say someone who's clear. You know, we pretend to milavat nii honi chahiye. Ideal person, women, men, milavat nii honi. Utna karo, utna bolo, jitna kar sakte ho, ya utna karo, jitna kar sakte ho. Don't pretend. We pretend so much. Just be real. so that is idol literally uh, you know the real the raw don't be something for someone or don't act something for someone because jab wo fir nikalta hai to jab reality aati hai then then it's a like then it's a big drama so yeah i think someone said like do not confuse someone's efforts for their behavior yeah. this is very important when i understood i understood it pretty late to win over somebody would do a lot of acts that's why when i said kind i mean they are kind they're not kind as a fake like just 
फेकिंग इट जो सच्ची काइंडनेस होती है ना एंड इट्स रियल यू फील इट इट्स दैट टच योर हार्ट सो अ काइंड वूमेन विल ऑलवेज टच योर हार्ट मोर देन अ ब्यूटिफुल वूमेन और अ गॉजस वूमेन वट एवर नॉम्स यू सेट फॉर कॉलिंग सम ब्यूटिफुल और एनी थिंग अ काइंड वूमेन विल ऑलवेज टच योर हार्ट सो दैट गोज फॉर मी आई मीन सो आई बिलीव येस योर राइट आई बिलीव काइंडनेस is much more valuable uh, than the beauty i believe someone can be beautiful someone can look so damn good but their behavior their nature their soul is painful it's toxic ek khoobsurat ladki mili mujhe ek zindagi mein ek baar ek dafa ek din ek din i met someone truly beautiful like i was i was awestruck by her beauty and i i wanted to talk to her i wanted to you know just be friends with her abhi main dost bhi nahi bana and i got to know she is a terrible person dusre din hi bye bye tata kyunki bahar se to wo sona dikh raha hai lekin andar se kya hai kisko pata hai wo pata chalti hai waqt ke sath aur waqt jab aap bitate ho kisi ke sath tab ja ke aapko pata chalti ki ye insaan sach mein sona hai ya nahi theek hai to i i believe kindness is the most important virtue of you know of of a person so i i've always tried you know i have always tried to f- be with someone who has a good soul a very good nature kind behavior and also you know accepting and understanding your feelings and emotions towards them not like he, you know i i'm trying to be very i'm giving my efforts main main kisi shakhs ke liye efforts de raha hu kuch zyada hi kar raha hu theek hai jitna use pasand nahi hai maybe use zyada karu kyun i have those strong feelings for her i i am i am acting maybe over emotional for her you know i am being possessive the first of all there's a difference between mohabbat and obsession uh-huh. okay so uh, if you are actually being over possessive of somebody's life they might feel controlled and that is possessive that's not possessive no that's obsession you have an obsession for her love means as vikar said understanding so when you understand that person space as well you won't be obsessed and you won't be you know so possessive either you're possessive because there's something wrong because if you love and understand somebody you let go you understand you give space safe space and there is a mutual understanding between two people i would say yes emotions over emotions or being over emotional is fine but then people can feel controlled and you can sometimes do damage in love where is that thin line you know where is that thin line jahan mohabbat obsession mein badal jati hai jab aapko kisi se kuch chupana na ho jab aapko pata ho ki koi aapse kuch chupa nahi raha hai to mohabbat hai jab aapko ye lag raha hai ki nahi the other person is hiding then then the possessiveness comes when things are clear it's smooth it's easy it's amazing but when you are hiding तब खराब हो जाता है सब कुछ एंड वी डू हाइड वर्ड अबाउट यू विकार भाई आई थिंक इफ यू वुड इफ आई वुड हैव अ चॉइस दैट डज समी लव मी और ट्रस्ट मी आई वुड पिक द ट्रस्ट आई मीन एनी डे इफ आई थिंक ट्रस्ट इज अ वेरी इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन लविंग समी uh if if i am at a bad spot and i just love you but i don't trust you things would be bad for me right uh i would do anything for you if you if i trust you right that doesn't happen with love always so love without trust is nothing for me and uh and trust comes with time and unfortunately <laughs> because of that um uh, I lost some beautiful people. They were not bad people. They were very beautiful people, and they were not able to trust me. Maybe their understanding of me was limited to what they heard about me. But uh, trust should be a personal experience. If you become an FBI agent and start investigating that person, it's not worth it. You are suspicious about every move. That effort, that too much effort into knowing that person through others, is useless. and uh, you know what uh, hurts more is uh, or has hurt me uh, is 
not what others said about me not what others have you know discussed or spread around but that one person that you trusted and believed that or that one person that made you feel loved and trusted saying the same exact words to you um that hurts more right that is something uh, takes a lot of healing right right it right. takes it takes so much efforts to get over it because uh and so i i told lala once i mean uh, i told her lala sabke samne nahi rona hota hai you have to find someone who values your tears and uh, that that's why uh, i i am a very introvert person even this uh, podcast is getting heavy on me because uh, now i realize that dusre jisse aapko koi tawakka nahi hoti na wo aapko koi strangers can never hurt you it's always people who are around you have you give them the power that's why i said ke uh, be very select to don't give this power to anybody actually if you can don't give it to anybody and if you give it to then do it with experience uh, sirf kisi ko aap pasand karte ho you have started liking somebody don't give them that power unless you are sure unless you know that this person will really stick with you that doesn't mean you test them टाइम विल टेस्ट दम जैसे आपने कहा ना वक्त वक्त सब राज खोल देता है विद टाइम यू नो हु इज रियल विद हु हैज बीन रियल विद यू हुज प्रोमिस विद प्रोमिस तो वक्त से पहले ख्वाब ना बुने हकीकत में ज्यादा मजा है बट ऑनेस्टी आई बिलीव रिलेशनशिप में ऑनेस्टी इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर मी ऑनेस्टी बिकॉज इज वेन टू पीपल आर ऑनेस्ट विद ईच अदर दे नो एवरी थिंग अबाउट Each other, right? हम किसी शख्स के साथ जब ऑनेस्ट रहते हैं तभी वो कंप्लीटली हमें जज करेगा कंप्लीटली पहचानेगा कि हाँ भाई ये बंदा है तो है कैसा राइट बट देन आई आई वुड थ्रो अ क्वेश्चन हियर दैट हाउ मच ऑनेस्टी समटाइम्स यू जज बिकॉज ऑफ योर पास्ट एंड वेन यूर ऑनेस्ट दैट वेल आई डिड दिस एंड यू आर टेलिंग समबडी to make sure that he understands you i think she you. means over sharing is also yeah, not yeah, good yeah yeah is 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 not good i mean totally being honest uski wajah se fir you get judged as you said Main, and people haan, leave you yeah, i got for, your point for just your past or even the things you have not done mm. i okay? got your point you get labeled because of your honesty i completely got your point here we have to and it's unfortunate ha, i didn't even have to share like dekhi, dekhi, people, dekhi, dekhi. people have already spoken about dekhi, me to english, people that english, i don't even know english hogi bahut zyada main urdu mein karta hu acche se baat main kehna chahta hu yahan pe ki hum pata galat kya karte hai galat dekho jab hum kisi shakhs se bahut zyada mohabbat hoti hai na to kuch sach kuch haqeeqat unko thes pahunchati hai ठीक है तो हमें कुछ राज राज ही रहने देने चाहिए अपनी जिंदगी के जो राज होते हैं ना वो राज ही रखो क्यों क्योंकि मे बी ये राज इस शख्स को ठेस पहुंचाए तो उन्हें उतना ही कहिए जितना उनके लिए काफी कोई भी रिलेशनशिप आई डोंट मीन जस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप और आपसे वो पूछ रहे हैं कि भाई वट हैपन इन द पास्ट एंड यू बींग ऑनेस्ट बिकॉज यू थिंक दिस रिलेशनशिप लॉ लेट्स बी आई डोंट थिंक वी आर ऑब्लिकेटेड टू शेयर आवर पास्ट विद एनी बट आई अग्री बट देन इफ यू आर फीलिंग disagree with sharing your past is someone who loves you and asks your past and that changes their opinion yes, about you it, i'm sorry they don't yeah. love you see wohi to main keh raha hu and there are people who label you Dekhi, because of your honesty, past honesty main nahi keh raha honesty mein hame sab kuch ugal dena you know jo baatein zaruri nahi wo kehni lekin honesty ye aati hai jab us shakhs ka koi sawal samne aaye us shakhs ko jo we are all all of it's very unfortunate unfortunate ke hum ye baatein kar rahe honesty जो असल में इंसान में होना चाहिए एहसास गिल्ट यू नो लव वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नेचुरल थिंग्स जो दुनिया में लोगों में होनी चाहिए द प्रॉब्लम आज ये है कि हम में से कोई भी ऑनेस्ट नहीं है हम में से भी किसी में भी वो एहसास नहीं रहा इज एज सिंपल एज दैट इसीलिए वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दिस एक्सपीरियंस नोइंग वुड बी इम्पोर्टेंट या ठीक है वो तब है जब आपका रिश्ता विश्ता किसी के साथ अरेंज में होता है आई एम नॉट अ लव एक्सपर्ट नो वन व्हेन यू डिसाइड दैट नो अदर इंडिविजुअल इज इन्वॉल्व इन योर डिसीजन ऑफ फॉलोइंग फॉर समबडी एंड बीइंग विद समबडी 
I, I, I don't think the past matters. Mm. But knowing it is important. You should, because that shows that you trust the person with a lot of your past, which is, which you might not have. It it just builds that connection. For but that, it knowing, might be knowing important. might change their decision. And if it changed, then you, you have the answer. The person just loved you for some other reason, not because of you. You are not your past. And that doesn't mean your past was bad. Maybe, I mean, how does... I, I fail to understand if I had a bad, uh, you know, background or bad, bad, no, not background, but my past was not fine. Uh, and you agree, somebody agrees to the relationship before even knowing it. Hmm. And after commitment asks about the past, it doesn't make sense. Exactly. That's so, what I mean. I want to say here that honesty is important. Honesty is very important in a relationship. For yeah, a, once it starts, yeah. after that, of course. I'm saying that. But after that, when you're honest, hote ho, related to your past, as Vikar said, if decisions change, jate hai, to naturally you know that that person was not worth it. No, look, the person who loves me, he deserves my honesty. I will not say everything about him that I have done in the past, but I will say everything that I have done in the past. मुझे समझने के लिए जरूरी है आई वॉन्ट हर टू आई वॉन्ट हर टू कम्प्लीटली अंडरस्टैंड मी राइट आई वॉन्ट हर टू अंडरस्टैंड आई थिंक दैट्स ऑल ऑफ योर पास्ट नॉट सेलेक्ट यू वेन यू वॉन्ट समबडी टू अंडरस्टैंड यू इफ इफ समबडी इज जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड यू फ्रॉम योर पास राधर दे शुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड यू फ्रॉम दर प्रेजेंट हाउ यू आर विद दैम आई एम नॉट आई एम इफ इफ आई एम फ्रेंड्स विद एवरीबडी आई एम फ्रेंड्स विद नो बडी If I'm nice, I'm I'm being extra. One is the basic level of kindness and nice and you know compassion. That's with everybody. I would be nice and do salam to everybody around me. But if I'm going out of way for everybody, then there is some problem with me. That means I am I'm I'm trying to please everybody around me. There is then then love is when you do similar things with a lot of passion for somebody you love. Like you do something special for somebody when you love them, right? So uh, I I was trying to explain that past. Pure. If someone is deciding you on the on your past, then all all of your past matters. But I don't think you should be with somebody who is going to judge you. Sit down and acha kya kya hua tha. I'll start judging you and labeling you, and then I will decide if I am going to be with you. Then it's a business transaction. You know the past. You are in the relationship. You accept it. You love. You are there for. you know couple of years with the person and then you leave the person because of that past that is damaging honesty jab aati hai na log misuse karte hain you're honest you're yourself and then they leave you because of that so you have to make sure ki kitna honest rehna hai you have to be honest to everybody and then accept who leaves if Hi, somebody yeah. leaves you because of your past masalama exactly. you, you, you should be okay with it because then even if you would not have told them about your past they would have found reasons to leave you because they are there for something else they're not really in love with you you fall in love with imperfections and perfections both true and that's when it. i say when a person stands by you that's when it is aapka past sahi ho nahi ho i also think about this like uh, this sharing of the past we all grow as humans you should not be with a person who has grown into a bad to a worse person because of their past if i had a bad rough patch and now i'm using that to humiliate and belittle the other person then the past has not changed me into a good human being but if i am nice to you and my past does not reflect in my present even if my past was bad i have grown as a human i am a better version of myself and i'm striving to be better i'm treating you well uh if i um you know constantly trying trying to fix myself then what is the problem there is no problem in the past then prof issue itihas na asan it is wrong when uh, you you are worse than what you were 10 years ago or 5 years ago if you are a bet, better version you are trying to and you are nice to that person in present i don't think <coughs> past would matter sharing or sharing or sharing or doing i guess we are done here with know, the this, no, past the, thing the, 
the thing which dis- the thing which destroy you matlab literally i am using the tabah karna na destroy karna is jab aap apno se judge ho jate ho he he's right it needs a lot of healing apne doesn't mean somebody you're creating a relationship with apne means a family which we call a family ghar when you get judged and you know when you get when you tell them the honesty your mistakes you come back home and you say well i did this mujhe galti ho gayi and you get judged for it oh that is that is destroying do you think that that uh, someone who lacks mental strength is more vulnerable to depression anxiety stress do you think do you think no. i don't know i'm not a psychologist or anything no, like no, that no, but no 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 we all are vulnerable with emotions uh with processing we all are vulnerable i mean uh, mental strength doesn't you know mental strength doesn't come just when you're born it comes with experiences with your journey so then you're not vulnerable or you're not vulnerable where you should not be right but we all are vulnerable i mean being vulnerable is not weakness a bebas ho jate ho you're helpless and that's the state when you when you should know that where you should approach wo fir ek mental strength aa jati hai jo main hamesha bolti hu what about you vikar bhai what about you i think it depends on situations where you choose to be wonder if you if it's by choice i don't have a problem with it you choose to be vulnerable with somebody should not generally be like that with everybody should not have your guard down world is a cruel place play it well and realize that uh, people will use you people will try to take advantage of you don't let every person in you should be very conscious about who you open the doors of your heart to heart is a very delicate organ it takes a lot of repairs trust me it uh it's not easy uh, no, no. so i want you to end this podcast with one of your favorite quotes now i'm blank <laughs> do you have a favorite quote ma'am i have so many uh, i i wouldn't quote something but i would say something which um i have realized people should know uh, a person is not when he learns from his own mistakes a person is when he learns from others mistakes so if we are here and we are saying something it's out of experience out of mistakes out of a lot of struggle journey and i would you know people to listen to that and learn from it if if vikar is saying don't open your doors he means it because he has gone through something where he needed healing if i am saying the world is bad trust me i faced it i'm not saying it because i'm philosophically red no i i'm saying it because i have faced and i have healed and that healing is is massive and i know it and so please please you know mm-hmm. learn learn, learn.